Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Tarot. Today's read is for you, Sagittarius. Just for Sag Tarot. Sagittarius Tarot. Appreciate you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I say this to you guys every day. I so appreciate you, Sagittarius. Anyway, the overall read is talking about your working, right? The overall energy is about working, making moves, taking um, taking a leap of faith, staying steady on, on your uh, journey, right? Because there's, there's a chair that's empty. Someone is leaving your life. That's a good thing. Change is necessary in life, right? Time to get out of a situation. Exactly. So there's somebody that's in your life that is necessary, right? There's a situation that you're in or someone's trying to keep you in. And spirit is like, nah, it's time for you to evolve. Because successful outcome, it says here, successful outcome to your problems. So I feel like this journey, this new ideal, this new adventure that you're passionate about is the key to you having the abundance that you deserve and that you're looking forward to traveling to get. Right, because pay attention to your finances. You or somebody you know or somebody you think you might know may be going through this as well, Sag. So someone will try to make you do something against your will. Here we go. And I say that because the overall energy talks about somebody being stagnant, um, refusing to let a situation go. Someone wants to um, basically stop your progress, your traveling, um, Someone is up in their head about you changing your direction and making new plans. You're very excited. You're diving very deep into this new passion that you have. Um, you're very outgoing. You're looking forward to, to trying this new adventure. But you got somebody, says that wants to create a, a blockage. But I feel like being that you're so protected, you are stopping this person coming towards you. See the Knight of Swords? That's somebody wants to come towards you to forcefully instill themselves in your life. Um, but I feel like your angels are blocking this person from trying to have any kind of power over what you're doing i feel like this person is somebody that's really bad news this is a person that's bad news their intentions are not good this is a person that they're a loud mouth person they're very impatient this person is an aries um but you are very inspired okay and i feel like this can be someone that's in this what they call peter pan energy very very childlike very immature this is a person that's stagnant it's like this person refuses to see that your world has changed and you're proceeding to look for new adventures and new a new life a new start you know that's what that is so we're going to quickly see what else and this person is a lover this is somebody that you're connected to or was connected to you that you had some kind of a partnership possibly this lover is somebody that's trying to work toward coming in your space but the problem with this person is all they do is cause create um chaos and conflict and um wanting a battle an empress which is you so you got somebody wanting to or you're you're going to have to confront and battle someone that wants to start conflict with you and continue working on your new love life you're going to have to take total control because this is a person 
that wants to come and cause conflict in your life. So your spirit is telling you, you need to take control to confront this person. Mm -hmm. As you work your way toward new love with a new lover. Right. This is somebody that wants to present some sort of new offer. This this could be a new person with the Ten of Pentacles. Once you invest in a new person, you're going to have a Ten of Pentacles, a new love. This person is trying to eliminate you from walking away from them. You know, Sag, <laughs> you have the key to success to all your problems. And I feel like your angels are watching you. They're going to keep this person away from you. Okay? So give me a card for the successful outcome to your problem. So this person is a nag. This person is a, a nag. Hmm. The key to your problems is about your home life, stability, happiness, holding on. Not allowing yourself of. Oh, hmm. Well, it's about making plans. Maybe you need to. Spirit is telling you. Wait a minute. Make plans to relocate. This is a person that may live nearby you or in your community or not too far from you. This is a person. Oh, there's a person, and this also means that somebody is making plans to come to your home to resolve some problems. Yeah. Whatever problems that you have, says somebody's coming to your home. What else do, do we to um take care of this problem, to resolve a problem that you're having? And it's, again, hmm. Well, okay, success, successful outcome. Hmm, the Queen of Pentacles. Very balanced, very um, nurturing, supportive. So you're going to have someone that wants to come to you, a new person. This is a new person. And they're going to bring justice to your life. They're going to be the key to removing this problem that you're having with someone who refuses to leave you alone. Again, this is a problem. This person is a gnat. This is somebody that will fight your battles. Yeah, they're going to come. This person is going to travel to see you and help you. So somebody's coming to your home. Somebody's making plans to come to your home. Hmm. And they're going to help resolve the problems that you're having. And you've had this problem for a long time. See, because you're independent and by yourself. You have your own business. But it's like you're going to need somebody of a higher authority to remove this gnat that refuses to leave you alone. Because someone will try to make you do something against your will. Who is this? Somebody's going to help you out. Give me a card for the club. Um, somebody will try to make your life difficult. Hmm. A page of pentacles. Who's this person? Maybe there will be some paperwork. Oh, yeah. There's going to be somebody driving to speak to you, to offer you, to tell you the um that this person... They're coming by to try to hurt you. But see, everything is fine. You're going to have the support you need. A new love is coming in to help you relieve this problem that you're experiencing with this person. This is somebody. This could be someone in your community. This could be... Because um, you're fine. Everything is fine with you. But... There's somebody, someone will try to make you do something against your will. So you have someone that's like watching to protect you. Somebody that you will partner up with. 
do business with. They're going to be the keys to your problems, right? They're going to be a king of pentacles. Very successful, practical, abundant. Um, somebody that will help remove all the stress and strife. Hmm. Somebody's left in the cold. See, this is justice, though. This person is a burden to you. They're trying to make your life very, very hard and difficult. But they can't because you got somebody that's a king of pentacles that's going to come in and rescue you. <laughs> it's going to remove all this, this person that's very determined to work with you and to continue to make things very difficult. We see that. There's somebody, yeah, they're going to be left out in the cold. Whatever they're doing is not going to work. See, because the truth has been revealed. The things that they were working on to try to harm you, they lost all kind of um, a lack. This person is a nasty, mean, lazy player. This is a player who, who, who refuses to move on. This person wants to control everything and make, again, your life hard, as I stated. This is a lying, cheating, thieving person that now acts as if they want to release a lot of the problems and obsessions that they had. This person is a very sexual, high sexual being. Yeah, they are. This is somebody you, you may have walked away from or left behind. Yeah, I told you, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, Ace of Wands, same thing. This person wants to walk to, this is a lover. This is a person that you walked away from that was a lover. This lover now wants to pour out and, you know, express their emotions to you. They want to be very passionate and intimate with you. They want a new start. But you you walked away. From, this person walked away from you. The judgment was called. They walked away and started a new love, a new life with someone else. Now they want to. The cycle's closed, though. Same cards keep coming out. The world card is out here. This is somebody who, who who refuses to walk away from you. They don't want to see you happy. This is someone who does not want to see you successful. This is a real... Oh, these reads with these people. This is the truth. You have clarity. You know the truth about what's going on around you. Sag... This person is obsessed, addicted to you. And it, I feel like this person is addicted to the idea of make, playing head and mind games with people. This person likes to play head games and travel and go round and round trying to tell you something. This person doesn't want to end a cycle with you at all. So let's, let's figure out, pay attention to your finances. So I guess spirit is telling you, this is why this someone is leaving your life. This person, want, whatever, what, huh, this, the authorities is here for this person. Whatever happens, this person will be leaving your life and a new person will be coming to you. A new person is coming into your life, Sag. You guys already know that though. Pay attention to your finances. Hmm. This person, pay attention to your finances. The authorities, a legal official. Hmm. This person didn't want to see the truth as they were lied and cheated, or they lied and cheated. They had a lot of secrets that they were very passionate about. Hmm. They lost some money through stealing that was, <laughs> they lost money. Yeah, somebody had a stronghold on this person. I feel like you do, the Queen of Cups. You have a stronghold on this person without even trying. That's the truth, Sad. This person is like, 
time to get broken hearted, betrayed, feeling betrayed because time to get out of the situation. This person is feeling betrayed and broken and they want to still hold on to you, but you've walked on, you've moved away. This person is jealous because you find them to be a burden. This person wants you to unblock them because they want to show you a king of cups. They want to show you some love. They want to begin to open up and reveal how they feel. This is a person I feel like, again, the cycle's closed. This is over. Yeah, again, the same cards keep coming out. This person wants to whip, wants to, they're very determined. You have a new person coming in to close the cycle. This person um, may be from your past, a childhood friend that you may have celebrated with this person. You had good times. Now that that journey is over. Um, you see the truth about a lot that this person um, created a lot of um, changes that were traumatic, which caused you to move forward and be happy and not deal with the illusions and the lies and the, and the uncertainty. You have clarity. You're starting something new. You're very beautiful, confident, sexy, wealthy, abundant, stable. You have, This is who you are. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of suitors coming at you. Right. They're coming. They're coming because you are that, the nine of pentacles, because you have the money. You're working toward building your money. You're focusing on, on that. Sag. All right, Sag. Again, look, this person, you've moved on. This person has not. This person is stagnant. They're stuck, man. This is a person that's stuck on your money and your beautiful, kind heart. You're focused only on building wealth. You're not interested in love. It doesn't seem like to me, but you know what it looks like? The key to your heart is coming to you. They're coming to your home. Somebody's coming to your home. Somebody's making plans to build to build with you. Although your focus seems to be moving on and taking control of your life when it comes to anything or anybody that tries to, you know, put a strain on you. It's anybody that's a liar, a cheater, anybody that's obsessed with um, any kind of toxicity. You're letting go of that lifestyle. Maybe you were in that lifestyle. Now you're focused on your business. Again, you're very business-minded, beautiful, successful, confident. Yeah. So just know, it, although I see Spirit is telling me that you're mainly focused on Ace of Wands, starting new passionate projects, not allowing anyone to come and interfere in that what is bringing you a lot of happiness that's what i see anything else you don't even have time for it sad and that's excellent because i feel like you all have done been through a lot and it's clear the reads are showing you that sad so just know this person has it's like you're a drug to this person <laughs> This person just can't seem to let you go. But you know what? It sounds like a narcissist to me and a sociopath because those type of people, rejection is the fuel, is rejection is their fuel. And that's the sick part about it. You're taking action. Here it is right here with the page of wands. You're taking action to resolve this person to move out of your life and out of your space. You can't allow a person to dominate your space and your life. If you're not interested, no one can make another person stay in their life. They can't. They don't have that kind of power. The perfect time is now. It's up to you to make some choices to, you know, 
stay in the seven of wands, there's some things you might have to do. You may have need to go to court. You may have a um, restraining order on this person. You may need to do something because this person is still in that energy of trying to reconsider, wanting you to reconsider a new life with them. But this person, I feel like they're only interested in you and showing love to you because you already have a resolution to your problem. And that's about moving on and choosing someone new. That's what I see. Now, it may not be the right time for some of you guys. But for some of you guys, it is. In the new, near future, it's it to um, reconsider doing something. Like maybe some of you guys don't want to take action. Spirit is telling you to take action. This person is trying to control your life. You have done everything in your power. You may have to get a, a legal official to get this person out of your energy because they keep coming in your energy. This is somebody that's only a narcissist would think like this, that feel that they have the right to force themselves in another person's life. Any balance person any person with any real sense would would not keep trying to force their way and control another person's life like there are legal steps that you may have to make mhm mm cuz you're going to have to set boundaries this is the only way this person will get it setting boundaries um yeah you're gonna have to take action sad you know you're gonna have to move and you know show this person that that you mean business and that you refuse to go around in circles with them because you have too much potential to allow somebody like this to believe that they have a right to your abundance and success this person has mental problems and they have to be dealt with. And I feel like some of you guys, because I saw the um, Knight of Swords, you're going to have to take legal action because this person refuses to move on. They, they, they're just stuck. They don't want to see you travel. They don't want to see you you know, start a new, a, a successful, happy life with someone else. This person doesn't want to see you have fun. They don't want to see you have a new love. But this is what it's for you. This is, you're going to have a new love, regardless of what anybody think. It's, it's ended. It's over. It's over. There's nothing to come back to or go toward. It's over. Period. This person is not is trying to create obstacles to stop you from growing and taking this journey that's going to bring you nothing but success. Taking this journey. All right? So that's the research. Bye.